there's a little more to this QFN test than eight more pins. All the previous QFN tests have had vias on the inner pad. This one doesn't. And I believe that will have some effect on sorting these QFN28 packages. I think the vias in the previous test would amount to a kind of tiny sorter reservoir. I'm not sure what effect of not having them will be, but fixing to find out. Putting a layer of flux over the pads. I have the sorting iron temperature set to 500 degrees. I wanted to see if I could improve my lighting before doing any more of these, so I've had these boards for a while now. That may be the reason they seem a bit harder to tin. The solder is pretty light on the pads. I may have to reduce the iron temperature a bit. Heating up the board a little, then I'm going to use a bit of solder paste for the center pad. I'll align the IC best I can. I have the air temperature set at 800 degrees and the air volume at 8%. Well, it didn't pull into position fully and at first glance it doesn't look so good. I'll clean the flux off and take a good look at it. So hard to see. Quite a few of the pins don't look very good and a couple of them I doubt are connected. Most of this side here I just don't like. No sorter fillet on three of them and I'd be stretching the definition of fillet if I said the other four have them. The only pin I feel is sort of good on this side is pin 15. 19, 20, and 21 may be okay. And for this side, pins 1 and 2 I doubt are sorted. 3 through 7 look okay, but I think this is a fail. I'll hook it up, see if it will program. Okay, have the programmer connected, power on, and can't see the IC. I'm not surprised. Even if it could have programmed, I would not have trusted these sorter connections. The fix for the first one was just reheat and push down on it while sorter was liquid. Going to try another one from scratch and see how it goes. I'm taking the soldering iron temperature down to 480 degrees, see if I can get a little more sorter on the pads. I think that's a bit much on the flux. I'll get the chip aligned and give it a shot. Yeah, too much flux. Just blowing it around. I'll wipe some of it off and go again. Air temperature is still 800 degrees with an air volume at 8%. There push down on it as lightly as I could and I could feel it move so the sorter is liquid. So a little longer on the hot air and pushing down on the chip. Going to clean the flux off and see what it looks like. These connections look so much better. Matter of fact most of them look very nice. Really nice flit on almost all the pins. And it programmed and all the pins have good connection. One more quick try. Still using an iron temperature of 480. Worked good last test. Just a bit of sorter paste for the center pad. I'll get the chip aligned and then start the hot air. It's not snapping into place, that's for sure. I don't know if this is because of the larger chip or the lack of vias or something a little different about this package. 
but definitely these are being more difficult than the last QFN20 ICs. Okay, that felt like it moved a bit. It's not in perfect alignment, but the pins look pretty good on this one. One other thing I wanted to test with these boards was how sorter paste would do with a via in the pad. And I would have to say, not so well. Had to resorter most of the parts that had the via in the pad. They were connected, but just not enough sorter for a good joint. About what I expected, but good to actually try it. Now I know, if I do try a sorter paste stencil, not to put a via in any of the pads. While these no lead packages are great for saving space, there is just something comforting seeing a nice sore connection on the lead. Having a nice fillet on the sides of these QFN seems to indicate a good connection. It's not the same feeling of confidence though. With these QFN 28s, I had to push down on them to get a good sorter joint. Not really a problem if you have a surgeon's hand. I don't, so I'll have to figure out another way to do it. I'm really tempted to redo these boards and put some vias in the pad just to see if that makes a difference. I'm quite puzzled why the QFN 20s would pop into position and these QFN 28s don't. There really isn't much difference in their sizes. Definitely more practice and testing ahead. Thank you for watching.